Hey guys, we're doing car vlogs again, and I haven't done a car vlog in a long, long, long time. But a lot of things have changed since that car vlog. Um, first of all, I'm in a completely different car now. Um, I traded in my 2012 Ford Focus SE sedan, and I got myself this. This is a 2016 Subaru Impreza sedan. This is the 2.0i base. And yes, I got the base model uh, for many reasons. One, I don't care for the upper trim levels. No, you know, I didn't really need all the tech. I mean, the great thing for 2016 is that they made Subaru Starlink standard. So their 6.2 inch color touchscreen with Bluetooth and all that stuff, which is great because that's all I really needed. Um, I didn't really care for anything else, you know, in the other trim levels. I didn't really need leather. Um, and the, car was comfortable enough in the base form. Uh, my only gripe is that these tires are super narrow and that I have still have steel wheels on my car. Um, but uh, in another vlog, I'll talk about why I traded in my car, um, mainly because it broke down once and then I had to replace uh, a part about every other month and I said, you know, screw it. And I really wanted something with all wheel drive. Um, so I can't complain about Subaru because, you know, they have great reliability and, you know, known for pretty much all-wheel drive in all of their vehicles, except for their uh, BRZ, um, because it's a rear-wheel drive sports car. Um, other news is that this summer, so right now it's June, I'll be planning to go on a lot of car shows. Um, I've already been to a couple uh, in April and May, and I hopefully will make uh, a bunch more videos. I'm going to a car show next week. I'm going back to Lars Anderson Cars and Coffee. Uh, there are a lot of car shows, a lot of smaller car meets here and there. Um, unfortunately, I really can't make those like weeknight car shows just because I work so far away and someone is now messaging me. I should probably turn my phone to silent. There we go. But anyway, a lot of people, um, you know, host smaller car meets uh, in the Boston area. Uh, I just can't make them on the weekdays just because I work so far away from from the Boston area. I don't even work in the same state. So by the time I get home, it's probably like, you know, seven o'clock and these car shows are, they start at like 6.30 or seven o'clock. And by the time I get there, it's probably pretty much over. Um, and I have a bunch of things to do usually when I get home, uh, chores and uh, a lot of random things I have to do. And, uh, you know, logistically, the best times that uh, I, you know, for me to go to a car show is generally on the weekend, of course, when I'm not crazy busy. Um, I mean, my weekends are pretty busy. I've been traveling a lot uh, the past couple weekends. I've been you know, I've been in New York, which is where I'm from, the past two weekends, and uh, uh, it was good to, to be back and just kind of be away from, like, this area and just, you know, just have some fun and whatnot. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I will be in Boston pretty much all this summer. I don't really plan to travel too much. Uh, and if I do, uh, it might be, you know, around the area, you know, the, the neighboring states uh, for car stuff. Um, and I do plan to go to a lot of Lars Anderson uh, uh, events, hopefully, um, in the next couple of months. Uh, one of my friends is highly interested in learning about cars. So um, we'll be going in together, hopefully. Um, yeah, I just, <laughs> uh, I, I haven't been meaning to neglect this channel. I just kind of got caught up in other stuff. Like a, a lot of things have happened between the last time I made a vlog and the, today. Uh, I got a new job, which is great, which enabled me to buy this car because my other car was just a hunk of junk and kept breaking down and, and I had to replace so many parts in the car. Um, uh, the one thing I will say is that, uh, I did buy this Subaru with the CVT, and you might be wondering, holy crap, you're, you're a car enthusiast, how can you buy a car with a CVT? Um, a couple of reasons. A, I don't know how to drive a manual, and B, I don't know if I would be want, willing to drive a manual every single day for an hour each way to and from work. Um, even though it's all completely, pretty much highway driving, uh, my only issue, if I get stuck in any type of, you know, stop and go traffic driving, which there are some sometimes, um, I would probably shoot myself, and um, I would hate it. But otherwise, I you know bought the CVT just because it's more economical, and it's just easier to drive. 
Now, of course, reliability, you know, not the CBT strong suit, but, um, you know, hopefully Subaru has sorted out how to build a CBT in the past, you know, uh, seven years that they've been building one, and the reliability is a lot better. I know CBTs of like the early 2000s and late 1990s are terrible, absolutely horrible, but I think a lot of the car manufacturers have figured out how to make a reliable CBT pretty much just as reliable as a stepped automatic transmission. Um, the issue is that CBTs are still more expensive to fix a CBT if something blows up, if the chain breaks, anything. That's $4,000, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, crossing my fingers, knocking on uh, no existing wood in this car. <laughs> yeah, it's a Subaru, there's not going to be any wood in this car. Uh, but anyway, uh, hopefully I'll be going to a bunch of car shows. Uh, I would like to attend Herb Chambers Cars and Car Coffee, um, but they're all over the place. Like, they could be in, you know, as close as, let's say, Boston, but they could be as far away uh, as... <laughs> as Herb Chambers dealerships are. So uh, they could be all the way in Southern Mass and uh, I drive pretty much through Southern Mass every day. So I don't really need to go back down to Southern Mass every day. Um, but uh, otherwise, you know, I will try to go as many car events and try to make more vlogs um, in, the, uh, in the coming future. Um, I just, you know, sorry, I've been just really, really busy with a lot of stuff and um, yeah, so that's pretty much it of, uh, on this vlog. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys sometime soon. See you guys.